Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we will talk about an experiment. Um, this experiment was performed by a German scientist called Hans Melder. Hans Melder. And this experiment is related to the um, standing weight that we talked about in the previous video. For the uh, definition of standing weight, just click on this link here. So, um, the experiment was like that. There was a generator. And this generator generates electricity so that it's connected to a vibrator. And there is a rope here. Okay. And there is a weight. So, when this vibrator works, the vibrations are transmitted to the rope so that the rope makes some standing waves and like that so these waves move until they reach the weight and the weight moves up and down. So based on the weight, when the weight increases, of course the force to which the rope is exposed, which is called the FT, and the T here stands for tension, increases and as we know that basically the force equals the mass of the object multiplied by the acceleration and as the acceleration equals the velocity over time so accordingly the F for the force equals the mass multiplied by velocity over T since uh, the force and the velocity are directly proportional so when the force increases, the velocity increases. And accordingly, when the tension increases, the force increases, so the velocity of the vibrator increases, and as we know that velocity equals the wavelength multiplied by the frequency, and so velocity is also directly proportional with the wavelength and directly proportional with the uh, frequency, so all of these physical quantities increase and vice versa if the weight decreases the, the tension decreases the force decreases velocity wavelength and frequency all of these decrease so i tried to find a video about uh, this experiment but i didn't but i found something similar there is um, a speaker and above this speaker there is a weight and this weight is attached to a string so when the um, speaker is um, working on bass so the bass produces beats and as we said that beats are actually produced due to the uh, presence of notes and anti notes and they are found in the standing waves so when there are beats, uh, the string will make uh, some standing waves.
So this is it for today and the next time we will know how to uh, uh, to get the force of tension for uh, a vibrating string or rope and until then thank you for watching and see you.